Welcome to Satan Church Online. Today we're talking about the most powerful muscle. I don't know what you have in mind, but the most powerful muscle is not a reserve for those ones who are gym enthusiasts, those ones who are all about fitness and uh, lifting up the weights and so forth. It's, it's, it's accessible to all, all and sundry. The most powerful muscle is actually your tongue. Powerful because when you look at scripture, it talks about its creative power, it talks about its destructive power. It talks about its power and ability to build up. It talks about its power and ability to bring down. It talks about the tongue as a weapon. It talks about the tongue as a tool. So this really is the most powerful muscle. And we, in our previous video, we talked about triggers. And we talked about some of the things that go on that uh, trigger us, take us back to some circumstances in our lives and uh, hinder us from being present in whatever we are doing. But today I want to turn to the other side of the coin where not so much that you and I are the ones being triggered, but where you and I are the ones who trigger others. In other words, there are certain things that you and I can say there are words that you can say, the tone that you use to speak those words that end up uh, basically destroying someone or taking someone down a path that they don't want to go. The Bible talks about the power of the tongue in the book of Proverbs. A number of the Proverbs talk about speech, talk about uh, the ability of the tongue. And in this book of Proverbs, I want to highlight uh, one. Uh, Proverbs chapter 15, verse 1, talks about a gentle answer turns away anger, but a harsh word stirs up wrath. A gentle answer turns away anger, but a harsh word stirs up wrath. In this season, in our nation, you and I need to be cognizant of this, our most powerful muscle. We need to be cognizant of the power of our words. And not only the spoken words, but the written words, the typed words, the tweeted words, the words put in comments on Facebook, the words on WhatsApp, the way we say certain things and the way they might be construed or misconstrued by the person that we're saying those things to. And so today, I want to make an appeal to you to use your most powerful weapon, your most powerful muscle responsibly. In fact, I want to appeal to you not to weaponize this muscle, but instead to use it, to use it creatively, to use it to build up. And this is my attempt to uh, contribute to whatever's going on nationally and to contribute positively and to say we can speak peace, we can speak justice, we can speak reconciliation, we can type those things, we can tweet those things, we can share those things. The things that you and I are, uh, are sharing in this time will either set up fires or will put out fires. And so today, when you meet a situation where someone is, could be hypersensitive, they're easily triggered. I pray that you will reach out with gentleness, a gentle answer that will turn away anger because New Testament Proverbs, the book of James, talks about the tongue as so powerful that it can light up a fire. And that fire can bring down a forest. And so we want to build up, build people up, build up our families, build up our spaces, our colleagues, our neighborhoods, our various uh, circles of influence. We want to build those people up. We, want, we do not want to tear them down. Today, I pray that as you encounter people and you notice someone who might get triggered, someone who's sensitive, maybe even hypersensitive, I pray that your tongue will be a tree of life. Your tongue will be instructive. I close with Isaiah 50 verse 4, which talks about the Lord. The Lord has given me the tongue, an instructed tongue, the tongue of the learned, to know a word, a, a timely word that sustains the weary. Would you use your tongue creatively? Exercise 
this powerful muscle to build up. And as you do that, healing will flow, healing will spread, and many will be edified. Thanks for watching today's video and pass it on to someone who needs to use this most powerful muscle in a way that honors God. God bless you.